So here's just kind of outlining through it. So we started out on the 5th, it was trading 105.80. Then on the 12th, it was trading 108.65. So we adjusted this now to the 22 March 106, 110 call right here. And then on the 13th, now it was trading at 109.95. All right. So we exited some of the trade. It's trading at 364. Our cost adjusted cost of dollar seventy nine. So now it was up 185 per spread or 103 percent return. Okay, so then we did one more adjustment because it what we were just working this trade further up, just keep keep working it up. And we were getting premium the whole time because the market could turn down. So this is a great way to still, you know, buy that protection. And then we did another adjustment here. It was trade on the 14th. It was trading out 11041. So now we adjusted this. We're long the 22 March 107, but we're short now the 15 March 112. Okay, so we really not, had another nice adjustment to the upside. Our adjusted price was now $1.51 or $151 per spread. And now that spread with now the spread had blown out to 485 less our adjusted price of $1.51. So now we had a $434 profit per spread, 324% return. Okay, so this is a really great strategy, again, that I love to use when you think the market's bottoming or topping out, but you're not, you don't have to be precise on the exact timing. So just kind of back up here. So the concept here is that, okay, even, so we got in right here, which was a pretty good entry, you know, with our indicators. But what if it just gone sideways for longer and then turned up? So then we could st still take advantage of it. That's, that's the beauty of the spread. All right. So like the covered call, you're long further out in time and you sell closer in and you just keep doing it. As long as your support holds, you can just, you can do this over and over and over. Now, if it breaks down, that's where we use our stop loss. So if it breaks the key support, then, you know, we'll reverse out or close the trade out. 